So going down the road, though, do we really want, I mean, look what we did to the rate of protest this year already last winter. And these lefties who are calling for more controls on it don't seem to understand. This is going to turn against you. You know, when, when you infringe upon the rights of others, eventually that gets turned on you. You won't always have a liberal NDP coalition in Ottawa. It's going to feel like it's there forever. Oh, I assure you that. But it won't be. And you start putting in changes like this, another government down the road is going to use that to turn it against you. And that these, the right of protest, assembly, expression, speech, these are essential base rights. And we can't let them be eroded just because uh, some people have been unfortunately abusive with it. And I don't think Singh and some of his supporters really understand what they're asking for. You know, look at how badly, I mean, look at how many good things came about from free expression and protests. And some of those protests got out of control. I mean, you know, the, the civil rights movement in the United States, that was from the outside, you know, fighting to end the, the racial segregation and then to allow, you know, schools to have mixed fa uh, children within them, things like that. Those protests often broke local laws at that time. Those protests got out of control sometimes. Those protests got a bit violent. Sometimes there were small riots. But it led to a good end. And there was no other way for people to express themselves at that time. They couldn't just go to the ballot box and reverse uh, the, those Jim Crow laws. So we can't underestimate how important it is, even if you don't like the message of some of the protesters. Sometimes the protesters are kooky. Sometimes they are out of control. Sometimes they're going too far. You have to accept that because it's just too risky to start cracking down and start to try and cherry pick which are legitimate protests, which aren't, and start infringing on those rights that are so very important. So, I mean, I, if I do have any message to put out to people as well, I mean, it's not just with these progressives uh, foolishly calling for more infringement on the individual's rights of expression and protest, but also I would, for the people who think that going out and, and, and going haywire and swearing at and, and, uh, surrounding politicians' cars as they did with Singh and doing that. You're not doing anybody any favors either, guys. I mean, I'm no friend of, of J.B. Singh or his ideology, but that sort of uh, approach and demonstration is not earning you any respect or support from common Canadians where we want to actually make some change. And as well, it is empowering the, react you know, the reactions of, of politicians like this when they're talking about imposing more laws to try and crack down on future protests. So you know, cut it out, guys. You can you can be uh, expressive and you can be excited and you can be a little rude. You can be a little tasteless. But when you push it too far, you give them uh, what they feel to be the justification to uh, infringe further on your rights. And it's not going to be a good outcome for any of us. So